Hey there, creepy peeps. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're returning. Welcome back to 90s week here on 31 days of Halloween on Nightmare Maven's channel. That was a weird way of saying that. I'm posting a video every single day of this month. So it is a very good time to subscribe if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? Really quick before I get into this video, I want to say thank you to my creepy patron peeps for supporting this crazy channel. Thank you so, so much. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link in the description. Y'all have really been loving <laughs> my horror recommendations slash like hidden gem videos. And I feel like the 90s is one of the most underrated <laughs> decades for horror. So when I was thinking about how to like marry those two ideas, I came up with this video, which isn't that original. I'm setting it up like it's a super original idea. It's not. So I'm gonna go through uh, each year in the 90s. So we're gonna have 10 horror movie recommendations from the 90s that you can stream right now, at least in the United States. Sorry for anyone not in the United States. Actually, not sorry. You're doing great. <laughs> you don't wanna be here right now. <laughs> okay, first up from 1990. Frankenhooker. It's kind of exactly how it sounds. Crazy inventor brings his girlfriend back to life using the body parts of dead prostitutes. And when she comes back, some of the memories of said prostitutes are left over, making her brain all scrambled. It's a little funny, it's a little weird, but I feel like that's like quintessential 90s horror. Want a date? Moving on to 1991, The People Under the Stairs. If I can't mention Scream, I feel like I have to include at least one Wes Craven movie in here. It follows a boy who breaks into the home of his family's landlords and he discovers a horrifying secret within the walls. It's a little kooky, but not like it's not something I would classify as a horror comedy. It's just a little quirky maybe, but has this like really like dark tone like or just like dark feeling like underneath it's very it's very apropos actually you know like because like all the weird stuff is in the basement and it's kind of like it looks normal wow <laughs> i feel like i just got the movie it's got a really good like i feel like the kookiness and quirkiness doesn't undermine the message of the movie and it has a lot of really good tense moments i feel like people are starting to come around on this movie and kind of like discover it or rediscover it so if you're one of those people like that hasn't yet rediscovered this, do it. You can watch it right now. <laughs> then from my birth year, 1992, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've talked about this before, semi-recently, I think. This was the Buffy that I grew up on. I never quite got into the TV show. I was more of a Charmed fan, to be honest. But y'all know the general plot, I'm sure. Teenage cheerleader finds out she's a vampire slayer. <laughs> I feel like this entire list is almost all horror comedies, but they're so 90s. And I feel like that was like a huge thing in the 90s like if you I mean there's a lot of like not funny horror movies too I don't know why I'm just I don't know this is just what I gravitate towards at like Halloween season <laughs> something a little bit creepy and a little bit scary but also really fun and this is definitely one of those then from 1993 body melt am I cheating a little bit by including this one sure I am you should check out yesterday's video to hear my review on body melt um really quick though it's like dead alive but with a lot more sci-fi then from 1994 serial mom what do you know another funny one uh i feel like i have to include this one though because i feel like everybody is still sleeping on serial mom if you want a john waters movie that's easier on the weird and heavier on the funny <laughs> this one this is the one you need to watch the title says it all you got a mom and she's a serial killer serial mom it's a great watch you need to view it for Kathleen Turner's performance alone. Listen to your filthy mouth, you fucking whore! God damn you! Then from 1995, Tales from the Hood. You all know I love anthologies, so I had to include this one. It's centered around three men who visit a mortuary looking for a drug stash and end up hearing scary tales from the creepy mortician instead. This is one of those that I feel like it's like a perfect anthology where it has like just the right amount of 
stories. I think there's four plus the wraparound, if I remember correctly. I just feel like it's like perfect for an anthology. <laughs> They're like the perfect length, not too short, not too long. I just like wrap around that has a story with it also. So it just works really well. It's just a really well-made anthology. Then from 1996, The Frighteners. This is another one I feel like I talk about a lot, but that's only because I feel like so many people also still sleep on this movie. Michael J. Fox as a ghost hunter, like, ish of sorts. Uh, there's some fantastic cameos, there's humor, there's heart, there's really shitty CGI. It's just a fun Halloween time. Sound off like you've got a pair! And from 1997, Event Horizon, taking a very sharp left turn, pretty much just like a U-turn from the Frighteners. <laughs> I, I had to make sure I threw in one movie that's like guaranteed to just fuck your mind up. Follows a team sent to investigate the event Horizon, which disappeared and mysteriously reappeared sans crew. And of course they find out there's a sinister presence still on the ship. It's kind of like in like tone wise, it's like in the mouth of madness, but in space and no Sutter came, but they both have Sam Neill. And from 1998, Urban Legend. I feel like I've talked about this one kind of recently too. Maybe maybe that was just because I mentioned Reese, who's an iconic horror movie character that I feel like people forget about. Um, there's so many iconic characters in this movie. But the title kind of says it all. It's a slasher centered around urban legends and folklore. Think Scream vibes, but instead of horror movies, it's urban legends. And finally, to end out the decade from 1999, Idle Hands. I really enjoy this movie. I feel like possibly, and by possibly I mean definitely, this is my favorite thing I've seen Devin Sawa in. He plays a stoner whose hand gets possessed and keeps trying to kill people. That's 100% the plot. It's best watched as a group. I think it's still funny if you watch it by yourself, but I remember we watched this once for a movie night with my patrons and it just like, it was already enjoyable and it just somehow amplified the joy watching it with a group. Oh, look at me, look at me, I'm Leatherface. All right, so hopefully I gave you some 90s inspiration for your spooky season movie viewing this month. Let us all know what your favorite 90s horror movies and hidden gems are in the comments. And if they're available for streaming anywhere, let us know. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you tomorrow with another new 90s horror themed video. Until then, stay strange. Bye.